salt. Oh man, just got done going into the post office. Oops, super excited because I just got my box of Element. So I've never really been like real big on electrolytes because I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I'll just go out there and ride bikes and drink a ton of water and I'll be fine. But recently I've realized that if you're not replenishing the salt that you're uh, noticing all over your uh, clothing, all that white stuff when you're sweating, that's salt coming out of you, sodium, and sodium's pretty important. And uh, I've realized that it's been helping me perform a lot better on the bike. So I'm, you know, I've been paying attention more to that. But the cool thing is I've been using Element now for like probably, I don't know, like four months now, maybe five months. No, probably about six months. And I've, I have noticed a huge difference in my performance. And not only that, I'm mean, just riding as much as I can and getting better at it. But I've been digging this stuff. So what's really cool is that I've already had the raspberry. This stuff's good. I've already, I've never had the watermelon. Um, I've had the citrus salt. The new one right here is the chocolate melody, which is really crazy because uh, on the chocolate ones, it's kind of like you got to like heat the water up and there's some new flavors in here. So we got chocolate mint, chocolate chai, and chocolate raspberry. I don't know how I feel about the chocolate raspberry, but I'm super stoked about the other ones, like chocolate chai. I love chai tea, that's the, that's the shiz. So, pretty cool though, like, I'm not sponsored by these guys or anything. I paid for all this product. And uh, the cool thing was though, if you bought three, you get the fourth box free. And so, I'm gonna experiment with the chocolate one. But it's cool because I've had the regular chocolate one and it's like eating or it's like drinking uh, like hot cocoa, like salt, like salty chocolate. It's pretty good. Like this stuff is extra salty and people don't realize like the main thing that you need in your electrolytes 99% of the time is going to be salt, dude. And that's what most people aren't getting in their, um, their daily intake of things they need. And personally, like I never really realized that because the whole world is always like, your sodium levels are too high and this and that. And I'm like, okay, well, everyone says don't eat a bunch of salt. But then I'm realizing as a human being, we're not getting enough sodium in our diets a lot of the times. And um, that's not good. We need it. It's an essential mineral that goes into our body. And most people don't even realize that. And I think it's pretty important. And I've seen a huge, like like increase in you know my body doing better when i'm out riding if there's salt coming in and the reason for that is because salt makes you hold on to water and if you're holding on to water you're not losing as much water as if my brain calculates it correctly i could be wrong but that's that's how i interpret it that's why the extra salt going in because you need that mineral and so yeah i've been taking in a lot more salt into my diet and that's another thing my diet's a little bit different than what most people would think. Well, I don't know what people think about anything when it comes to food, because a lot of people eat a lot of garbage and I don't. So one thing that's personal about me that most people don't know is that I do eat an animal-based diet. It is very similar to carnivore diet, except I eat a lot of fruit as well. I eat uh, lots of beef, I eat chicken, I eat pork, I eat butter, cheese, I eat all that stuff. I like to eat, personally, I try to eat as many like uh, animal organs as possible. So like chicken gizzards, chicken hearts, uh, beef hearts, beef liver, even though liver tastes like complete garbage, I can't stand the taste of it. So what I do is I just throw a bunch of salt on it and throw a bunch of uh, cayenne pepper on it so I can't taste it and it tastes kind of like spicy beef jerky. Um, but recently I've had a lot of friends hook me up with some, um, some like uh, venison and I've been eating that and elk, elk is weird. Like elk liver is a strange flavor. I don't know if I like it yet. Um, see, I have this thing called the, the, the three time rule. The three time rule is I have to try something three times before I decide whether or not I like it. And I've had elk liver twice. And so, so this, let me explain. This is how the three time rule works. I've been a chef for 24 years. That's what I do for work, not just YouTube videos. Cause that would be real fun. Um, 
I have been a chef for 24 years and the three time rule is you try it once, it's the initial shock. You try it the second time, it's the remembering it. And then the third time is when you decide whether or not you like it. And so I've been doing that like my whole life as a chef to see if there's food that I like or don't like. Because the thing is, there's a lot of food out there that you've never tried before and you don't know if you like it. But the first time, you probably won't like it. I mean, I would say the majority of times if it's something kind of foreign that you're not used to and a flavor you never had, you're gonna be like, oh, I don't know. But if you try it that second time, you're like, oh yeah, I remember this. Eh, and you may not hate it as much. And you're kind of like, I don't know, I don't really hate it, but I don't like it either. And But you gotta do this like spread out over time. I would say like a couple weeks out or even like months out. And then by the time you get to the third time, you're like, you know what, I kind of grew to like this or I absolutely hate it. And that's that's my three time rule, three time rule always. So I'm on my second time of elk liver. I don't know, I like this, let me tell you this, the second time was, was definitely me going, I, I'm pretty sure I still don't like this. So I'll try to cook it a different way and then I will have my third time rule and then boom. So back to what we were talking about. Um, yeah, I, uh, I definitely eat more carnivore, animal based than anything else. Um, put it this way, pizza is like my favorite food of all time and I think I've eaten pizza like maybe twice, maybe three times in the last year. Um, Cause I try to stay away from all that kind of stuff that's not animal based. Cause I've seen tremendous results in my body. Um, I've been able to like pedal better. I've been able to lose weight. I've been able to maintain weight off and that's why I do that. Um, I really feel like it's been super beneficial for me. Some people think it's crazy. Some people think that you're gonna die from eating red meat and it's it's a fallacy. You know, there's a lot of studies that have been shown that red meat gets rid of inflammation and lots of stuff like that. To be honest, it's all the other garbage we put in our bodies. That's what's causing the chaos and the sugar. I do not intake any processed sugar whatsoever. And I'm talking like, none. I just don't do it because I feel like sugar is the worst thing on this planet for us. I mean, I'd rather smoke cigarettes than eat sugar because sugar is just so bad. It's causing all of our health problems and that's just my personal opinion. You can argue it, but processed sugar, just remember that because like I'm not afraid of any fruits. I'm not afraid of any like anything that's naturally sweetened and I'm talking not like says naturally sweetened on the label. I'm talking just it's naturally sweetened and I eat honey. That's the other thing I eat. And uh, yeah, that's those are my two sweeteners. That's all I eat. It's like fruit and honey for the most part. Um, but yeah, so I, I try to eat as healthy as possible. And I used to weigh like 235 pounds. I was a big boy and I'm only five foot seven. So 235 pounds on not a lot of uh, height is, is very fat. And I'll insert a picture right here. Yeah, that was me. That was me and my adventures of uh, being in a band and drinking a lot of beer and eating a ton of food and going to bars and eating bar food, which is all fried. I don't eat any fried food unless I make it myself. And what I fry things in is beef tallow, which is rendered beef fat. Um, I, I've been eating tallow for the last, I would say, eight months. And it's the only like thing that I'll fry anything in. I mean, I'll cook stuff, but I'm talking like deep frying things. Like, so I deep fry a few things. Uh, one of the things I deep fry is um, squash, because I eat a lot of squash. And I'll just like cook that and, well, okay, hold on. I don't eat, I eat only like vegetables that are considered like more on the fruit side of the family. So therefore squashes are more like a fruit than they are a vegetable. I don't eat a lot of vegetables. Every now and then I will dabble in some potatoes cause I'm just like, oh, you know what? I want to have some fried potatoes. And I deep fry those in beef tallow, which is amazing because at least the, you know, all of the lectins and all the things that are not good for you uh, get cooked out for the most part when you deep fry them in beef tallow. I don't do that often. That's one of those every now and then things. So I don't worry about it too much. But like I said, I, I try to keep my diet pretty damn strict. I just won't do it. I don't eat pasta. I don't eat any of that stuff. You know, I just, I want to be healthy. I want to have a good metabolic system. 
And so, therefore, I eat only whole foods. I don't eat processed foods. I do not eat uh, any seed oils either. No seed oils. There's a lot of stuff I'm just giving you right now, a lot. And uh, you know what? It's a lot of info and you know, I just felt like saying it and this is, this is what I wanted to do. So a lot of info. Oh, and by the way, we're filming all of this on my Osmo, DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This camera is so sick. I can't wait to get this thing out on the trail and do fun stuff with it. And it's tracking my face and it's in 4K, 60 frames per second, so I can technically slow down things if I really wanted to. Like, if I'm saying words really, really fast, I'd be able to slow it down and it's gonna sound like I'm normal. If I'm saying words really, really fast, I'd be able to slow it down and it's gonna sound like I'm normal. Like that. So I slowed that down and talked really fast to see if it was gonna work. So yeah. I don't remember where we're going. All, all I know is that sodium's good for you. It's all a lie. Eat it, it's good for you. Make sure you get a good salt. Don't try to eat like iodized salt. Get some good Himalayan salt or Celtic salt or my favorite, which is uh, Fleur de Sel, which is a French sea salt, which is like so amazing. It's kind of expensive, but I've been eating that for, I don't know, 15 plus years because it's um, delicious and it just has a different texture and salt altogether. And that's why I like it because it's just not the same. Good times. All right, over and out.